Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Arner if you're new here and I am a wife and a mother of two little boys. I am a homeschool mom. I am super passionate about bringing beauty to your home, to your season of life, being creative with how it is that we express ourselves in our homes. As homemakers, we spend so much time within the walls of our home. And I believe that it is so important that our space inspires us, that it brings us joy, that it brings a smile to our face, also that it is functional. So I have a sweet little thrift haul for you guys, and I hope that these pieces inspire you and show you that we don't have to spend a lot of money. We don't have to have big flashy things to bring character and to bring beauty into our spaces. So without further ado, let's get started. First piece I wanna share with you today is actually not something that I have inside, but it is this insanely beautiful 15 gallon crock that I got from Facebook Marketplace this last week. I know that I've shared on this channel so many times my love of crocs. I also feel like you have to be really patient when it comes to these things. I can't tell you how many crocs I have found on Facebook Marketplace, at flea markets, and thrift shops, and they are priced so incredibly high. But I have found some really great deals. I really feel like it all comes down to being patient. I have been wanting a big crock for outside in our garden all season long. Gardening has become a huge passion of mine over the years and I am so, so proud of our front flower beds and around our house. However, I do have a couple spots in my garden that I have had really struggled with growing things in the ground. So I had an idea that I can incorporate more pots into my gardens in spaces that the soil's not as good or I have trouble, you know, growing things in the ground. I can put potted plants inside beautiful crocs. When I stumbled upon this croc on Facebook Marketplace and I saw that it was selling for $35, I was like, I need to jump on this. Wherever you look, you will likely find things where people are asking over a hundred dollars for some of these old crocs but if you're patient and if you're creative i actually asked her if she would take 30 and she did and so i have this huge 15 gallon croc that is so heavy and it's in such good condition and now i have it for next season and i can put a topiary in here i can put an evergreen and i have a beautiful vessel now to place in it next item that i want to share with you is another beautiful find that i found from the flea market actually a couple months ago I almost didn't share this with you guys because i wasn't quite sure i was going to keep it this is another thing that happens to me sometimes is where I stumble upon things and almost don't know what I have at first. I've also learned my lesson to hang on to things. Don't just jump into selling them or giving them away. Hang on to them for a little while. And that's exactly what happened with this piece. This beautiful plant stand or side table. Honestly, it really could be both. I got this for $5 at the flea market it's in beautiful condition and it has this really unique stem. Like it almost reminds me of something tribal or, or Native American. I'm not exactly sure. So if you know in the comments, please let me know because I, I really had a hard time really describing this detail, but it's so well made. It's so sturdy. I mean, the bones of it are just absolutely perfect. The only reason I was hesitant about it is because I thought that it didn't quite go with my house. But then after having it, after hanging on to it for the last month or so, I realized that that's almost the beauty of my home. I think that's something to embrace. So I realized that it doesn't matter that this plant stand doesn't exactly match or go perfectly with the other ones that I have. It's a fact that it's different that it stands out and why I've grown to really love it. I'm really so grateful that I ended up keeping this and I didn't decide to sell it because I love it just how it is. So my next couple things that I'm gonna show you, I actually found at a local thrift store that does a deal 
where you can bring a bag, whatever you put in the bag, you pay a flat fee of $10. I was able to get quite a few bits of new clothes for my four-year-old. And I also stumbled upon this beautiful pottery bowl. You can see it has chips all around, but I absolutely love this deep red color. Um, this almost like rusty terracotta, which I love terracotta. I absolutely love terracotta. And you'll probably notice that I have tons of like warm red tones scattered all throughout my house. I've been looking for a new little bowl like this to go over in our mail organizer. We all need little vessels to hold random things. That particular spot tends to be a catch-all for my husband's keys or small items. It's got some chipping, but how unique is it that it clearly was something that was handmade. You're not gonna find this anywhere, but that's exactly what gives it character and it fits perfectly. And I just love how it looks on top of our organizer. So my next find I got that same day at the same thrift shop. I was shocked that this was included with the bag sale. So I actually went and asked because I wasn't sure that this was actually included. And so when I found out that it was, I snuck this in my bag so fast and it's this beautiful crock. I love that it's asymmetrical and it has only the one handle. I love the two-tone with the brown on top and the cream on the bottom. Some small imperfections. As soon as I saw this, I knew I wanted to use this for a plant. That is another little like way that I feel like I have just brought so much more charm to my home just simply by swapping out things like plant containers or you know vases placing it with things these unique vessels that i'm finding i don't even know what you could even calculate like what i spent on this i spent ten dollars at that thrift store and i walked out with something that any other place i likely would have paid at least ten dollars for that one thing and so I'm so pleased with it. I think it looks so perfect up on my plant stand. My old plant pot that I had there actually started leaking. So it was the perfect time and opportunity for me to repot it and have it, this be the new vessel. The next item I have is another crock and I actually got this crock from a different thrift store that is right here in town. The prices can be a little bit higher, but I have found that with certain things, it's actually a really great deal. Again, I've been loving browns. I've been wanting to bring in more browns. I love this two-tone coloring. Um, they had this marked down because of the chip on the lid. But again, I wasn't looking to use this with the lid. <laughs> I'm gonna use this as well as another vessel for some of my new plants that I've been propagating. So this fits perfectly upstairs in my sunroom, reading nook, and I have just been loving it. It's the perfect size. I love that I'm starting to collect so many different unique, but also complementing vessels. Okay, so I have a couple items left and these all were things that I found at my local Goodwill this last week. I actually went in looking for clothing, but I ended up walking out with three things that I'm actually really, really pleased about. The first one is this tissue box lid. Kinda just ordinary. It's kinda plain. It has a little bit of wear. All I did was I took some of my mineral oil and I wiped it down. And I swear, I feel like it looks brand new. I've been wanting one of these for so long, so badly that I was even thinking about asking for one for Christmas, because I've seen there's like wicker ones that you can get on Amazon. But I feel like, you know, the universe put this in my path for a reason. It was 250, I think. And I think it works perfectly. I think it just brings so much balance to my space as well as functionality. The last two items that I have to show with you are these beautiful <laughs> gilded Sirocco wall plaques. And I, I'm so happy 
because I have been on the hunt for these for so long. I think Sirocco is one of those things that you either love it or hate it. And I'm one of those people that actually loves it. I love mixing in, you know, mid-century modern, more modern pieces with vintage. That's definitely my style. Again, like I said in the beginning, I have so many different like sides to my personality. I don't think that we have to fit to one mold. And I don't think you have to fit, you know, even to like one coloring in your home. So for me, when I saw these, I knew that I had to take them home. If I couldn't find a place for them, I knew that I this was something I could probably sell and make a profit off of for what I actually bought them for. So not only did I get this pair, which you can see on the back, it says it's this Hollywood, Hollywood Regency style. And she has written, someone wrote down here, 1930s. When I did my own research, everything was coming up like 1960s. But you tell me, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure. It does say, you know, it does say Sirocco, made in the USA. So there's those two, and then there's this one. This is such a solid piece. Unlike the other two, this thing is solid, like solid wood. It's actually quite heavy <laughs> and it's almost like more of like a vintage gold, um, way less like gilded and let's see if you can see that. Much less gilded and bright. It's got more of like a darker, almost rose gold tint to it. So again, I'm not sure. When I see these things, I instantly think wall interest. I think of my gallery wall of the little bits of gold that I love to incorporate. Places where you want to bring some brightness and some warmth. So I have a few things in mind of where I could possibly put these, but if not, I also am perfectly fine and okay with reselling them, finding a good home for them. Because the one thing that breaks my heart the most and one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about thrifting it's because I can't imagine that these things are going to end up in the landfill. So especially with places like Goodwill, it's one of the reasons why I feel so convicted to shop secondhand and to really do my absolute best to avoid buying new unless it's required. And unless it's something that really, again, I find to be valuable, I find to be worth it. I hope that you enjoy this thrift haul. I hope that this small little thrift haul gave you some ideas and some unique ways that you can bring charm and beauty into your home on a small budget. You don't need a lot of money. I think in total, I spent less than $30. And that is huge to me. If you like this video, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, what did you think about these items? What were your favorite? I would love to hear from you guys. I really love this community that is building. And if you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I put out new videos every week on motherhood, homemaking, and intentional living. Until next time, my loves. Bye.